Okay, now I'm here with my Walking Dead review of the third episode of the second season. Um, it was awesome. It was better than last week. It was, for me, it was pretty much for me as good as the premiere. Um, this is the stuff that makes having a longer season great that the show is able to slow down and let the situation kind of sink in all the time like this. This is what would be happening. You know, last season six episodes, we would have moved on to some next, you know, they would have moved on to some other place. They would have been already gone from the farm. Um, or even if they weren't gone, everything would have been really, really condensed. Um, and I've heard, you know, I've heard people already complain that the the season's moving too slow. You know, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, it's... I mean, you can't have them shoot zombies in the head for an hour every single week. Um, it's just, it's like... You know, I, I, don't, I don't know what you want. I mean, this is what would be going on. You'd be sitting around thinking like, God, life sucks we've lost all these people. That's what you'd be doing. Um, you know, just be happy that they have a kid that almost died, uh, as far as what's going on. You know, it's just, I don't know. Uh, the main stuff with Kara was actually pretty, uh, pretty brutal and more effective than I thought it would be. Um, this week, Rick and Lori having conversations about if he died, would it be better? Um than living in the world they were living in. Um, I thought they were, like, really, like, strong, strong conversations, you know, Rick didn't really have an answer, uh, until Carl w woke up and talked about the deer. Um, by the way, that, that, w that was a little cheesy when Rick did, did have an answer, and he's like, oh, he said the deer. He talked about the deer. I'm like, I, I yes, I know. Uh, that could have been a little different, so that was a little cheesy. Um... But, uh, by the way, when he was talking, and then all of a sudden, before he had his little, like, seizure, his eyes just, like, I thought, I thought he was dead for a second. I was just like, you, I was like, no way. No way. They did it. They killed him off. That rarely happens where I'm watching something, and I really think that, you know, he was gone for a split second. Um, which is impressive. Because I normally would never think that on any show, so, um... That was, yeah, that was actually pretty impressive. Uh, let's see, what else, what else? Uh, before I get the Shane, I'll get the Shane at the end. Um, Andrea and Dale, not Dale, um, God, I can't think of his name. Guy with the crossbow. Uh, Dale's the old guy. Um, but whatever. Daryl, Daryl. Um, the two of them going off was actually really funny. Um, I, I love that Daryl. I love that Daryl's come completely around and he's just awesome now. Um, the whole thing with the guy hanging um, and him kind of making fun of him uh, was funny. It was sad. Um, Andrea's starting to come out of her like funk a little bit. Um, yeah, I liked all that stuff. Um, I, and again, I thought something was going to happen to either Dale or uh, Sophia's mother. Um, which looks like they're going to be dragging that out a while with Sophia. Uh, well, they already drug it out longer than I thought they would. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, because first Dale was up there with her, and then he just left and he walks around and he comes back. So I didn't really know what the point of that was. Um, that kind of threw me off a little bit, because he walks around with the gun, nothing happens, and he walks back, so I don't know really why they did that, uh, come to think of it. Um, suspense, I guess, but still, it didn't really mean, didn't, you know, there was no me there was no meaning for it or anything. Um, yeah, but they came back, everything was the same. Uh, Sophia's mother is still upset. Yeah, you know, that should be. Uh, the new people, uh, T-Dog still really hasn't done anything. You gotta let him recover first, uh, before he does something. Um, you yeah. know, so they kind of put him out of commission a little bit so they can let other characters kind of have screen time, uh, which I guess they'll do the reverse of as he gets better. Um, 
Glenn looks like he has a new love interest. Um, who I, you know, I liked her immediately. You know, besides the fact that she's really cute, I thought, you know, well, I, I thought right away. I just, I, I didn't hate her. You know, she was easy. She was easy to, you know, um, she's just easy to like. She was, you know, and um, which I guess was the point. Um, felt really bad about the. Uh, um, hold on, wait. Before I get into the the fat guy, uh, we'll just go with Shane. Um, Shane's story where he goes to the school to get the um, you know all the stuff for the surgery and everything. They screwed up by doing the flash forward at the beginning of the episode because I saw him shaving his head. And I was like, okay, this can't be a flashback because that's him really shaving his head, so they're not going to have him shave his head in a flashback and then shave his head in uh, the real time also. That's why I knew it was a flash forward. And when he came back and they didn't show what happened, I knew that he shot him. And, you know, it, I thought it was pretty obvious, so I think they actually screwed up there. Um... Because the reveal wasn't revealing at all. Um, it was, don't get me wrong; it was still absolutely brutal. And the fact that he didn't—I thought he would have shot him in the head. Uh, he shot him in the leg, and he let him get eaten. That was—you know—it sucks. He could have shot him in the head. Um, well, I guess that was the point from shaving his head. He couldn't look at himself shaving his head. He couldn't look at himself in the mirror anymore. Um, but yeah. Uh, regardless, uh, I like what they're doing with Shane. I mean, he's definitely an interesting character. Um, I don't know how three-dimensional all the characters were in the comic in the comic series because I haven't read it. Um, but uh, I'm liking what they're doing. I really am. Um, I think we only get like four more episodes before they take a break. Um, but we still got some, you know. Uh, it looked like we're going to get a little bit of a reset because the storyline of getting to the farm and Carl getting better. Um, so I don't know what we're going to get to next week, but it won't be, you know, let's see what happens to Carl. It's going to be the next section of the story here. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. And, um, yeah, I'm liking where they're at this year. I'm, uh, I'm thinking they got a shot at making a, a better season than last season. At least three in. So... That's it. That's all I got. I don't think I'm missing anything. Eh, I don't think so. Alright. I'll uh, see you guys next week with another one of these. Until then, later.